right, so we did it. We escorted Grandmother Telkin, but I think we have to go back and talk to her again to help her. <laughs> it's going to be, no. Uh, thankfully oh, no, we not. did it. That was it. Okay. But, All right, we're good. Now let's go ahead and this in. So we've been playing for an hour and a half. We've been doing one quest. <laughs> Technically, that's not our fault. Technically, it actually is, because had I just listened to you and we <laughs> dropped the quest and picked it up. The thing is, you need to be more forceful. I'm an idiot, and sometimes you just need to be like, Danielle, you're dumb. Just let me do this. <laughs> and I'll be like, okay. <laughs> okay. I guess. I, I have an herb up in here, but... Oh, baby, baby. Bog, bog is supposed to know. What, what uh, girl would you be in the group? Yeah, I'd probably be the one that people questioned whether I was straight or not. <laughs> like Amber from FX. I'd like to think I would be Amber from FX because I would never wear heels or skirts. Yeah. I would just, I would just wear jeans and really short hair and be like, oh my god, does she like girls? Because I'm so questioning my sexuality right now. <laughs> I'm questioning it all. I heard, and I don't know how true this is, but I heard that Amber from FX was dating Hyuna. What? I know. I would totally support that lesbian relationship. That I would, be, would be. That would be my like OTP. But I don't. I don't know if it's true. I think they hung out one time, and everybody in Korea just wants Amber to be a lesbian so bad that like if she hangs out with a girl that's not in her girl group, they're automatically lesbians together. Plus, everybody in Korea thinks very lowly of Hyuna. I think. Really? <laughs> I, I think they that. think of her as being like, um, kind of like like a lot of her videos get banned and stuff because she's like overtly sexual. Ah. So I don't think that people think really highly of her. I don't know that as a fact, though. I'm not Korean. There's probably a bunch of Koreans right now like, We love Hyuna! Fuck you! You I'm, know nothing! I, it's true. I know nothing. <laughs> Call me Jon Snow. <laughs> oh, it's stupid tower again. Oh, yay. Tower. I want my sprint. I don't think I get it until, like, 27. Yeah, we talked about this, and I was like, I get mine at 26, lol. Oh, I just dinged again. Okay. All right, what do we got now? Let's go. Do you want to go north to like the Ogremar area or do you want to go over to like Northern Barrens? I will leave that up to you. Oh my God, why? I clearly <laughs> am not a navigator. Let's go north. Okay. We going north. We go Ogremar. It's like right outside. I've done those quests before, and I think they're all like in a little group, and they're easy to do. So I love it when everything is just in a tiny little group, and it's Ugh. all in the it's same hot. area. It's a freaking house! Like we have central air conditioning, but it doesn't work really well upstairs because we need to replace the ventilation that goes from like downstairs to upstairs. Like the downstairs is fine, but upstairs, like the central air is just like nope, nope. You gotta be hot. That would not be fun. No. <clears throat> this is upstairs, which is actually usually nice because Niffle cranked the AC and it's like too much for me. I'm like, I'm cold. Be glad that you're not in Kansas. It was like 97 degrees the other day and now it's like 50 something. That's just, New York. You just described uh, New York in a nutshell. Oh, well. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's pretty much how it is here. I know your feels. My nose hurts because I've been blowing it so much. Like, I have, like, that red, raw, like, I'm a little kid that's parents didn't buy me, like, Kleenex Aww. with lotion. I told Nick to get me tissues when he was at the store yesterday. He forgot. Oh, he should get you those extra soft tissues that's supposed to make your nose feel good. I need ones that'll, like, heal what's going on there. Like, I caked it with so much moisturizer and stuff to try to, like, chill it out. It hurts. Yeah. I like rubbed it raw. Oh, oh giggity. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Someday I'll, I'll be mature. Someday the maturity fairy will visit me, I'm sure. But today is not that day. Giggity go. Oh, yeah, I think they make some with like aloe and stuff, don't I they? I know. That's what I want. Are we taking this guy's quest? Yes. Hey, well, hey, but hey. we'll see how low they are when we pick them up. Hey, guy. Hey, dude. In 
Let's see. So they are yellow. And he was all yellow. Look at the stars. Oh, Look I was like, wait a minute. Coldplay. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> that was when I was like a kid that song came out. Yeah, I don't really think they do anything ago. anymore, do they? No, yeah, they still have songs. What? No. I'm pretty sure. They're just not like all chill like that. They're more... What? No. Yeah. You're, ta you're trying to tell me that Coldplay is like a metal band now? No, <laughs> they're definitely not metal. They just... I don't know how to describe it now. I still like them. Oh. Wasn't he married to Gwyneth Paltrow? I think he still is, and they named their baby Apple. No, I'm pretty sure they broke up. What? Yeah, because she's kind of, like, crazy, I think. I don't really know if it was his fault or not, but pretty much any time a guy says it was his fault, I assume that the woman's, like, crazy and has, like, guilted him into taking full responsibility for... Like, I just feel like there was some sort of emotional abuse going on if a guy is saying, like, this was all my fault without there being some sort of a fair scandal. I'm just like, all right, what's the real story? So he was took Gwyneth all the you? blame? Yeah, he, like, she, like, wrote this blog post that was called, uh, they, they called it something really dumb, like, conscious uncoupling or something like that. It was really weird. Instead of just saying, like, we broke up, they, like, made up some stupid word to make it sound better about them breaking up. Mm -hmm. And then, like, he did an interview where he, like, took all the blame for it and was like, it was all my fault. Wow. And I just was immediately like, oh, so she's probably crazy then. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. That was just immediately what I assumed. And I don't know if that's, I'm probably way out. Like, I don't know. I don't, I obviously do not know Gwen Paltrow or the guy from Coldplay. I didn't even know that Coldplay still had songs. So. So why did he say it was his fault? I don't, I don't really know. No, I didn't, I didn't read enough, but he like definitely took credit for it. And then like, I was like, oh, she's probably crazy then. But what about little Apple? I don't, I don't think she's that little anymore. I think she's like eight. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, yeah. Oh, how time has passed. <laughs> I don't think I could ever name a baby Apple. I don't even like it's, apples that much. It's just kind of weird. It's not really a name. It's a fruit. Yeah. My inventory's full again. Oh. Son of a bee. Son of a piece. I need, like, another... I don't really care about the cracked eggshell. I just hate that it's glittering on the ground. I need so many freaking sacks of crap. Ooh, stab him while you invisible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can do invisible things, too. Look at me. Oh, you are stealthy. Damn. You're so stealthy. We are gonna take so long to level up. We're so slow and stupid. Don't <laughs> let me lead you. Like, I don't know where to go. I don't know things. <laughs> all of my characters that are high level, I leveled them like two expansions ago. And then all I've done is like level them the last five or ten levels after that. Like, I haven't actually leveled a low level character for any significant amount of time other than like my monk, which I dungeon grinded. Like, I always complain about people dungeon grinding, but my complaint really is how much more efficient it is than questing. Uh -huh. It's not really that people do it. It's that it, I think that you it should be... I don't think you should be encouraged to dungeon Yeah, it should grind. be I think equal. It should be, yeah. You should get just as much experience for questing. But they never will do that. All right, where are we now? We just got to go. I need one more sack. I need four sacks. Oh, wow. Yeah. And there's like three other people over here doing these. So well, I only need one, so that's good at least. Oh, excuse me. Oh my God. Yeah. You are excused. And then probably after we do these quests, we can go to Ogamara and I can empty my bags again in the auction house. Maybe I'll sell some stuff, and make okay. money. I get no And then I can. They can buy us all the things. Make it rain on your face. <laughs> what the hell, man? I do not see any sacks anywhere. So confused. Oh, no. I think people have They were stolen. on the ground and they were sparkling when I got them. Come back through this tunnel. Okay. 
Because I found all mine on the other side of the tunnel. I mean, there may be some on this side of the tunnel. That's just not where I found mine. Well, then I'm going to go over there. I'm going to go over here, too. <clears throat> so did you hear that story about that? I think it was the St. Bernard. These people took their dog to the oh, no. vet. Oh, no. And um, the vet said that... Like I'm not going to like this story. I don't think you will. <laughs> uh, go ahead, though. <laughs> the, the people, the doc, the vet said that their dog had, like, these all these kinds of issues and stuff and that he needed to stay at the vet's office for, like, two weeks so he could treat him. So they left their dog there, and he got this treatment. And um, when they got their dog back, he couldn't walk with his hind legs. So they were obviously really upset, and the doctor said, well... You know, he had a reaction to the medicine we gave him, and he's this isn't a good life for him, and he's not going to make it, so you should just put him down. And the family talked about it for a while, and they agreed, like, if our dog's going to have a bad life and he's going to die, we don't want to put him through pain. So they said, yeah, go ahead, put our dog down. Well, somebody came forward and said that they were keeping that dog there for blood transfusions. They had him for like two weeks after they said that they were gonna put the dog down and they just had him there to, to take his blood. Oh my like God, they were just that's keeping awful. Him there. That's awful. I'm just waiting at this ore and then I'm coming back, but that's terrible. So now the family is trying to get like, they're taking the guy to court and trying to get Cause like if the dog way. was like even sick, they shouldn't even be using his yeah. blood in other animals well they're wondering if their if their dog was even like sick in the first place the, yeah so it's just i'm scared to take my dog to my dogs to the vet i'm like when does something crazy happens to my poor dogs nah yeah, that's not i mean i know that sounds like it's not really common at all like yeah. i don't know i will say that vets and doctors i feel like a lot of times they do things that may not be necessary to you know make money but mm -hmm. like i don't think that there are very many vets that are just cruel to animals like that that those, and people like yeah. there's just a lot of cruelty involved in that story it's terrible i read about that oh I, I found my last bag did you get any bags i still need come to over by where i am you because if this one respawned, there should be... There's another one right here. Uh, now I only need one after the one I get that you're buying. Oh, and I see another one. If uh, you get that yes. one, I'll come over and sit by this one. I helped. I'm helping. You're so helpful. You see it over here? Yeah. I figured the ones I had gotten must have respawned because I saw one that I had gotten earlier had respawned. Oh, get out of so here. You're flying out. Yeah. <laughs> Go away, dickass. I thought he was going to come down and take my sack. No, <laughs> you leave my sack alone. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's just funny to me. There would be a very reason. there would have to be a very extreme circumstance for me to leave an animal at a vet though, like overnight. Yeah. Because I don't feel like the majority of the time they're actually treating them overnight and I think a lot of times like the animals are more scared than they would be at home anyways although I'm like I have weird feelings about animals like I like when it comes to like okay like I understand why you would treat like a two-year-old dog who had cancer I can yeah. see why you would do that but like Violet is 13 and she has a tumor and like I haven't even had it biopsied because if it starts to cause her life problems I would probably put her down because she's 13 yeah you know what I mean and like who, who at that point are you doing those treatments for like cancer treatments are not pleasant for people humans or anybody in between you know what I mean so like I feel like I wouldn't be doing that for Violet's well-being I'd be doing it for my own mental reasons when like truthfully she lived a very long and happy life and I don't know well, and also, if they biopsy it and it is cancerous, couldn't that also speed up the process of the cancer taking over her body? Like, Yeah, I, that's not... I wouldn't do it, though, because, number one, I wouldn't want them to put her under anesthesia because she's 13. Uh -huh. um, she gets really, like, panicked and stressed in the car, which I will be... I'm man enough to admit that, like, I probably should have taken her for more car rides in my life, and that's 
why she gets nervous in the car, but she's huge. She's like 80 pounds. It's like, Aww. it's not easy to like just bring an 80 pound dog that like freaks out in the car. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I just tried to limit it. I don't know. Like, I just feel like if, if, if Violet was sick at this point, like the only reason I would treat something like that would be for my own selfish. It wouldn't be for her well-being. It'd be for me. And like, I don't think it would be right to put her under anesthesia to have it like dealt with, whether it be removed or whatever. I just, she's 13, (laughs) like breed standard pit bulls, which she's purebred is like 12 to 15. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she's in like great shape. It's just a mammary tumor, which I know sounds like, oh, it's just the, yeah, but like she had puppies before I got her, and that's super common in dogs. And it's been the same size for four years. Like she, I started to, I noticed it when she was like nine or ten, and it's been the exact same size that whole time. Where is this guy? That's what I'm wondering. Where's this jokester? He hiding. But it's literally been the same time, same size for like a super long time. So like I don't think it's growing or anything. But I like sometimes I just think that people, I don't know. I, I feel bad like I don't I obviously don't want anybody's dog to die of cancer and if you think it's the right thing to do and you have the money to treat it so be it but like in the same sense I think like a 13 year old dog I don't think their quality of life for the time that they would naturally have left I don't think that you're like improving anything by putting them through surgery and anesthesia and medicines and yeah. needles and I don't know I agree I don't know where this guy is. It's because somebody killed him. Oh. The Alliance people on this server <laughs> seem to think is that it it's Is it Gore cool. the Enforcer? Yeah. Is that who we're waiting for? Yeah, he should respawn him. soon. Do you yeah. want to go do this listen to the shaman's fable while we wait? Oh, yeah, girl. I think we just I think we talk, talk to, to this guy, yeah. yeah. And then he turns you in. Oh, you're a wolf. I'm a little wolf. I'm a wolf, too. Do we run on our own? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does he come with us? Oh, he just tells us where to go. But oh no, he came back. Whatever, we'll be back. No, no, come do it. Come do it. We can do it while we're wolf. Oh no, we can't. Okay. <laughs> Let's right. see. I forget where we're supposed to go. I'm just heading towards the spot on my map. I don't really know. Okay. I used my dash. Oh. The wolf found scorpid meat to be too bitter. He didn't care for the raptor meat either, apparently. The more he ran, the more his stomach growled. The wolf did not care for raptor meat. <laughs> oh, I love that. The wolf that did not say. care for raptor meat. Oh, it said that again? He was hungry for coat no meat. This is a very dramatic story. <laughs> the wolf <laughs> ran and ran, looking for an easy meal. The wolf had grown tired of eating boar. Clever as he was, the wolf decided to wait for one to defeat another. Oh, very smart wolf. When the weaker Kodo died, the wolf approached and tried to eat it. Hello. Can I? I'm sorry. Oh my god. You're slinking away, but you still... Oh my god, wait till you see that on my screen. You were like sideways and dead and slithering around like a snake on the ground. Uh, All right. Hey. Thank you. Thunder down under. Apparently, Wait, mine I didn't. didn't. That's cool. What happened? I don't know. Wait, I listened to the shaman's fable and then it like zoomed me out. Oh, what the heck? I'm yeah. gonna try it again. I got this do what in this do. series. We have to do every quest four times, <laughs> or it won't be right. <laughs> or it won't be right. You gotta keep you get once. If first you don't succeed, try try again. Even if it seems like you've tried for an unrealistic number of times. <laughs> just keep trying. Just, just keep trying. Keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> swimming. Swimming. Uh, oh, I could be using my dash. That would be helpful. Oh, I could have used my dash, too. Whoops. I like how it didn't count for either of us. Yeah, I liked how you like slithered sideways on your <laughs> belly or something. I don't know, it was weird. I was a little snake slithering around. Now there's no Kodos over here. What the fuck? Awesome. Do you see Kodos? No. Oh, there they are. All right, then. I'll just stand right here. Hush, little Kodo, don't say a word. When you're dead, I'm going to eat your body. (laughs) 
<laughs> that was the most beautiful song ever. <laughs> I'm probably going to win a Grammy for it. Go over to the East Coast. Listen to the shot. I got it that time. I also... Yeah, I got it. Okay, did you get it? No. Are you kidding me? This is not even... You kind of have to approach the Kodo, and then it'll, like, automatically walk you toward it, and then, like, it completes it. See, I'll wait for you. The thing is is that I died, so my body's just laying on the ground, moving <laughs> Why around. Why did you die? I don't know. How did you die? It's like when they stomp my little... I just, I flexed for the camera to show how I didn't die. <laughs> oh, you all flexy. <laughs> you all flexy. It, it finally uh, did it for me. Okay, so you got it? Did you take all these quests? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, let's see. We have... I'm going to leave... I'm going to get rid of these ones that you don't have of mine because I picked up the ones from the board in Ogremar, but it doesn't look like we're going there for a while, so... Okay. All right, let's go to... I don't know. It's labeled Quest 3 for me. I don't know what it's labeled for you. We got to go around this thing, though. Oh, I'm going to just follow you. Let's see if I got any new abilities. Nope. <laughs> no. At 14, I get teleport to Moonglade. Oh, snap. Which you used to need to get your forms, and now they just give them to you. Now they're just like, nope, you too stupid to know how to do things now. Back in 2005, they got things. You don't get things now. They have made WoW so simple to play. Like, literally, I don't really play care it. about that. I am all for, like, efficiency. Because you have to think, when they started Vanilla WoW, a lot of the journey was leveling now it's everybody's trying to get to end game because that's where like the game begins yeah so like i get that there's a lot more levels i get all of that that's great my pro oh wait we need to go to ogremar i need to empty my bags first and we're right here so let me do that real quick um anyways so i get that like i don't have a problem with them making leveling easier or faster my issues are 100 percent that they haven't made it more efficient. Yeah. Like, I, I think you should get more experience for questing. I think you should be rewarded for questing the way you would be rewarded for, like, spamming random dungeons. I also think that there should be... I don't know. Like, the whole, like, having to wait for four people to do a quest before you can do a quest, that's stupid. Oh, my gosh, yes. That's dumb. And that shouldn't be a thing. That is so stupid. It I is. Not good. And I don't like that there's experience in BGs now because I really enjoyed twinking back in the day and it's not the oh same. Oh my gosh, yes. It's not the same. I mean, you can still twink, but you just play against other twinks and people. So it's not twinking. Yeah, it's the rarely. Idea of, yeah, the idea of twinking was being better than everybody else. Which I think you deserved if you put as much time as you need to into twinking. Yeah. Like, I twinked a character at level 69, and oh my god, I was unstoppable. It was the best I thing ever. I was unstoppable. <laughs>